This is part two of lecture on chapter eight, home and automobile insurance. And not quite sure what happened. I have a new microphone tonight trying to improve the quality of the recordings for you. And halfway through, it just told me that my mic wasn't working and I lost part of the lecture. But fortunately, we were able to break evenly between learning objective number two and number three. So I'll just pick up here with learning objective number three, home insurance cost factors. So what do you need to know to determine the amount of coverage needed? Your insurance protection should be based on the amount of money that you need to rebuild your home, not on the amount that you paid for it. And don't forget to consider your land. So just using our little example of $100,000, let's just say you paid $20,000 for the land and it cost $80,000 to build the house, then you would want to consider that whenever you were choosing insurance because you're not going to lose the, ha the land if your home uh, is destroyed by fire or whatever. So you need to think those things through when making your determinations. You also need to consider the replacement value of your home. If your house is uh, was purchased for $80,000 10 years ago, chances of your being able to rebuild that home for that amount are slim and slimmer. So you need to make sure that what you're insured for is what it's actually going to cost you to replace your home. Same with the value of your home's contents. Don't forget that you need special insurance on anything that's outside of ordinary. So if you have furs, jewelry, any collector pieces, expensive computer equipment, all of that requires a separate policy uh, or an addition to your homeowner's policy policy so that those items that are at a higher cost would still be covered in case of a catastrophe. You also need to look for a policy that has full coverage. Watch co-insurance clauses because that requires you to pay a portion of the loss. Then you also need to be aware of whether or not your policy is for actual cash value or replacement value. So actual cash value is only going to cover the cost of what that item is today. So let's say that you bought a dining room table and chairs and you spent a thousand dollars on them but if you would sell them today you would only be able to get two hundred dollars for them well that's what you're going to get if you have actual cash value what's the cash value of that item on the market today not replacement cost so if you want replacement cost in your insurance then you need to make sure that that's um, what is written into your policy and on that example of a thousand dollars for that a dining room chairs, chairs and table, it's re what it would cost you to actually replace it, meaning that if it costs a thousand dollars to replace it, then you have full coverage to uh, to cover that item at that cost. Even though you have replacement value insurance though, you need to be uh, aware of if there are any stipulations as to what they consider to be replacement value. Some companies limit that like to 400% of the actual cash value. So like with the example of your dining room chairs and table, you may have paid a thousand, it may be worth 200, but at 400%, you would only get $800, which wouldn't actually be enough to fully replace that dining room table and chairs. So make sure you know what your policy covers. Factors that affect your home insurance costs are that ever famous location, 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 so the location of your home and the rate insurance rates um, for that area along with construction materials for building are all going to impact the cost of your insurance policy. Of course the coverage amounts and the type of the policy that you have are going to impact the insurance costs. You can get uh, discounts if you have things in your home oftentimes uh, like smoke detectors or security alarm systems. You can also get discounts if you have uh, more than just your home insured or your renter's insurance with the same company. So if you have one company uh, that's insuring both your automobile and your home, you can usually get a better rate than if you have those policies separate. Be sure to compare costs, coverage, and service because different companies offer different things and your price can range as much as 25%. So make sure you do your homework and don't forget to check out the ratings of the insurance company that you choose because you want to make sure that they're going to be there if you have uh, a claim and then also that they're easy to work with. Let's move on to learning objective number four which is automobile insurance coverage. A financial responsibility law is state legislation that requires drivers to prove their ability to cover the cost of damage or injury caused by an automobile accident. 
all states have uh, compulsory insurance laws. You usually have to have proof of insurance before you can get uh, your vehicle uh, license tags. So you'll need to have coverage for your vehicle. And the main coverage can be grouped into two categories. The first is bodily injury and the second is property damage. So bodily injury covers injury to the body, medical payments, and uninsured motorist protection, where your property damage covers damage to property, collision, and then comprehensive physical damage. So let's look at these real, real quickly. So bodily injury liability is for the risk of financial loss due to legal expenses, medical expenses, lost wages, and other expenses associated with injuries caused by an automobile accident for which you were responsible. When you go to buy your policy, you may hear them say things like 100, 300, and you may not know what that means. So let's take a closer look at that. With 100, 350, a driver would have a limit of $100,000 that could be paid to one person in an accident for claims. But let's say that you had more than one person in the car. Well, then the addition, the uh, limited amount would be $300,000 that you could, could be paid out on that one accident. So if you had four people in the car, you would not be able to give $100,000 to each person because you're going to be limited to only $300,000 as the maximum amount that could be paid out. And then the 50 refers to a limit of $50,000 that could be made for damages of property of others. Medical payments cover the cost of health care for people who are injured in your automobile, including yourself. If you are in an accident caused by a person without insurance, which does happen sometimes, uninsured motorist protection covers the cost of injuries to you and your family, but in most states, not to your property. Uninsured motorist coverage provides financial protection when another driver has insurance, but the amount of insurance they have is less than enough to cover the uh, financial damages that you had. If you are under a no-fault insurance system, that means that the drivers in an accident collect medical expenses, lost wages, and related injury costs from their own insurance companies rather than from the person who's at fault. So what does your property damage uh, liability insurance cover? Well, when you damage the property of others, this insurance protects you against financial loss against um, vehicles. So if you hit somebody else's vehicle, but then also against street signs, lamp posts, and any buildings that you might do damage to in an accident. And if you have collision coverage, it will pay for the damage to your automobile regardless of who is at fault. However, if you're not at fault, your insurer will go after the person whose fault it is and try to recover those expenses. If you have a comprehensive plan, this covers physical damage to your vehicle not caused by an accident or a collision accident, um, such as if someone breaks into your car, uh, if you have fire, if you have glass breakage, um, I know I've used my comprehensive insurance several times whenever I've had a rock thrown through my car window or whenever it, there's been a storm and a branch has uh, broken out my window. So I have a couple different times I have used my uh, comprehensive insurance to cover those damages.